things if they were to concede here it would be a savage blow really because Bradford haven't been in the game for 10 minutes they haven't been in the Crusaders half for 10 minutes but now they set up base camp looking to put the first points of this magic weekend on the board Oh, he gets to within 20 metres of the try line. Down this left-hand side, Dave Halley hugging the touchline, waiting for a ball to this near side. That's been Bradford's preferred modus operandi as Lynch off flows to Lestrange, and Lestrange spotted half a gap, which closed very quickly, but Bradford uh, literally knocking on the door now with Carney going to that far side. Sykes looking for a long ball. Well, Crooks is knocked down. He was slipping as he uh, went to ground. There's a lot of rain in the Edinburgh area this morning. The pitch will be just a touch greasy. Donaldson burrowing his way towards the try line Crusaders hold firm Richard Silver says this is the last what's in Matt Orford's locker will it come to Matt Orford surely it will here he is a little kick to the near side it's behind Halley oh plucked down in the air by Gareth Thomas that's plucking an apple from the tree Thomas is away Sharif coming across Thomas won't have the legs oh he's got the sidestep though that was sensational from Gareth Thomas he just weaved away from Sharif quite brilliantly can the Crusaders turn it into points through Michael Witt Michael Witt scores but you might as well call it Gareth Thomas try a brilliant try from Michael Witt Crusaders lead 4-0 that is a wonderful try that is a wonderful try by the Crusaders and go all credit to Gareth Thomas and all credit to the composure he had at the end of his run to take the tackle play it as quickly as he could and let Crusaders attack a fragmented Bradford defence was of mind to get the ball played quickly and with the defence shot to pieces the try was off well the best players in the world of rugby can deal with all kinds of pressure and that's exactly what Gareth Thomas done then he cut inside Ricky Sharif he got up played the ball as quick as he could and they're flooding forward the Crusaders Bradford cannot get back to prevent this try and it all come about from the urgency of Gareth Thomas Michael Witt a real attacking threat every time he gets the ball Simple try for Michael Witt. It's not Jack Sparrow, if that's what you're thinking, because already that's how Jared Samet has been christened by his new teammates at the Crusaders and uh, in honour of the, the Pirates of the Caribbean yarns. He's had that sort of uh, journey to the uh, join the Crusaders across the world. Uh, flight delayed in Bangkok. He was due to arrive on Wednesday. He only got into Wrexham at 10 o'clock yesterday morning, straight off the plane, into a training session with his teammates, and now onto the pitch in uh, Edinburgh. It's been some journey for the former Penrith player. Well, his hair grows quick, as well as his moustache. I remember Brian Carney having a moustache like that once on an episode of Boots Let me all. tell you, let me go on it's record saying one. that is the most Woo! outstanding do in Super League this year. <laughs> Hats off to Jared Salmon. Look, he's a good player. He'll speed this game up. Super League's very own Johnny Depp is on the pitch then and the Crusaders are on the attack again. They lead 6-0. This is the final tackle. Perhaps a one-pointer at this stage of the game. And it is knocked over. Knocked over by Michael Witt. Well, he took the option three minutes before half time. They moved two scores clear. 7 0 Crusaders. Well, you hold. Well, Bradford should not get a sniff of the Crusaders try line here in the remainder of the first half. If this was basketball, the Crusaders would be using as much time off the clock to make sure they had the last attacking opportunity. They should run through this set and we'll be into the final minute by then. If uh, they can make sure they put a decent kick in at least and pin Bradford back on the try line, that'll be good enough and it'll be a good well, first 40 minutes. Well, why work. wouldn't they go for the one pointer at the end of this set? Go. Well, the difference between seven in front and eight in front is probably negligible, isn't it? I would imagine would be the oh. coach's point of view. Move! It's took them oh, two scores move. clear. They're already two scores oh. clear. I reckon they'll try and do a little bit more than that this time. Maybe just get it right under the trial and maybe try and force another set. That's Last one. tackle. Oh, move. well, they put Dave Halley under pressure. Pass. They did with a couple yeah. of kicks early in the game. Here's Samet spinning the ball out to Witt. Witt, the commander-in-chief okay. of this Crusaders attack. It'll land just short of the highland. Well, they've allowed... They've allowed Mellis to come out and catch that. He smuggled it away. There's a try here. Michael Witt. Michael Witt's over. Richard Silverwood, will he give it? Will he be satisfied it came free? Legitimately, he is. And the Crusaders have scored the try. Bradford just let Mellis pluck that out of the air, which was absolute madness. And he just found Witt, and Witt strolled over for a second. And the final tackle is called by Richard Silverwood. Well, Carney has done plenty to try and drag his team back into it so far hasn't been able to do so a lot of the players are from this Bradford side but First. at the end of the day this Crusader side have been very professional in 70 minutes of rugby can they finish the game off with a big 10 minutes Two. Move. had some big wins already had a big win over Holler in the season but uh, 
this I would think would be the one that's the real feather in their cap, knocking off a Bradford team that hasn't lost in six games. Yeah, and a Bradford team coming off a great win last weekend. Brian Noble up against his former team. I think this will be a special win. And like I say, so far in this game, I know we've got about nine minutes left, but the fact that they've kept Bradford scoreless is what will give Brian Noble, I think, the most pleasure. Yeah, this will be his sixth win over Bradford since leaving for pastures near Wigan in 2006 in nine attempts. That's a pretty fair record. Knock on here from Sam. Oh, no, it's not. Brilliant hands. He managed to juggle and then collect and then kick ahead. This will be a sensational try. It is a sensational try. Jared Sammer. Well, they'll call him Jared the juggler after that. He's won the game for the Crusaders with a sublime piece of skill on his debut. Well, he must have flown over business class. If he's only landed on Wednesday and produced that, they've had him in the best seat on the plane. That's a tremendous... A ball out the back, he's collected an offload, little chip, regather. That's a fantastic right. score for Jared Sabbath. God, but he never gave up on it, did he, Terry? I'm not sure the moustache or the hairstyle will catch on in Super League, but Jared Sabbath, he plays with his instincts. Look at this for a piece of skill. He never gives up. He never gives up. Since his introduction, he's come onto the park. He has lifted this Crusader side. Flooding forward, taps it forward, regathers, gets a nice little kick over the top. He's still challenging, puts pressure on Sykes, gathers that ball and goes in for the try. He's straight into the badge.